Okay, so this is your pre-algebra video for Thursday, April 16th, and we are on lesson 14.3, and today we're going to be subtracting polynomials um, instead of adding them like we did yesterday. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get to example one, and it is x squared minus 3x plus 4, and it says find the opposite of the polynomial. Okay, so when we think about um, 6, what is the opposite of 6? Well, the opposite of 6 is negative 6. So in order to make an opposite, we need to do a negative sign. However, we need to do the opposite of this entire problem. So we put the problem into parentheses and we put a negative on the outside in order to find the opposite. Okay, well let's just go ahead and put a 1 here and let's distribute that in. So negative 1 times x squared is negative x squared. Negative 1 times negative 3x would be positive 3x. And negative times 4 would be negative 4. Notice that when we put a negative on the outside that the signs all change for each term. Okay? So when you come across this and you see a negative on the outside, you just think, okay, I can take this out of the parentheses if I change the sign to each one. Okay? Does that make sense? Okay, so that was number one. Example two. When we had addition on the outside, we were able to just drop those parentheses, but we can't do that with subtraction because we're looking for the opposite of what's inside. So I have this negative on the outside, so in order to drop these parentheses, I need to do the opposite inside, okay? So I can distribute it, if that makes sense to you. So we can do 15x plus 2x, and then two negatives make a positive plus 8y. And then we can combine like terms. So we get 17x plus 8y. And this is what your work should look like, okay? Because remember, you're showing me your work. Okay, it won't combine anymore, so uh, we're done with that problem. Okay, let's do another problem. Let's move on to example three. minus 2y minus 3x plus 4y. I almost didn't give myself enough room there. Okay, so we have this subtraction problem. Now, if you look, it's positive outside of this parentheses. So I can go ahead and um, drop the parentheses and have 5x minus 2y but then I need to distribute this negative inside and change the sign. So I would get minus 3x minus 4y. Okay? Um, so then I want to combine my like terms. So 5x and negative 3x gives me 2x. And then negative 2y and negative 4y, I'll add those and get negative 6y. Okay? So this is my answer. 2x minus 6y. Okay. Example 4. I'm going to go ahead and erase. So I have plenty of room to do this one. Example 4. 8x squared minus 9x minus 3 minus 2x squared plus 6x minus 4. Okay. Okay, so now I have a positive on the outside of this parentheses, so I can drop the parentheses like we were doing yesterday, <clears throat> but I need to distribute this in. So minus 2x squared minus 6x plus 4. Okay, 
Now I need to find my like terms. I'm going to start with my x squared. My x squared. So I have 8 minus 2 is 6 x squared. Now I'm going to combine my x's. They're both negatives, so I'm going to add them together. Negative 15 x. And now for my numbers. Negative 3 and a positive 4 gives me 1. I can't combine anything else there. So we have 6x squared minus 15x plus 1. Okay, next problem. So example five is x cubed plus two x squared minus nine x plus 14 minus seven x squared minus six x minus four. Okay, so again, positive, so I can take this outside of the parentheses because there's nothing I can combine inside. I would want to do that first if I could. Okay, and then I need to do the opposite or uh, distribute the sign minus 7x squared plus 6x plus 4. Okay, now it's about combining like terms. I only see 1x cubed, so I'm going to go ahead and bring it down. Now I see 2x squared and negative 7x squared. So minus 5x squared. Combine my x's here. And I get minus 3x. And then lastly, my numbers here, plus 18. Okay? All right. One last problem. Example six, two x cubed minus one minus six x squared plus eight x. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this one out. Uh, and then change the signs minus six x squared minus eight x. Okay, in this case, you'll see um, that when we do this, we can't combine anything, but it is out of order. So the correct, this would not be the correct answer. The correct answer is even though I cannot combine anything because I have an x cubed, an x squared, an x, and a one, I do need to put them in the correct order. Two x cubed minus six x squared minus 8x minus 1, and that would be the correct answer. Okay, all right, so for your work today, let's do um, numbers 1 through 33 odds.